Hi Pisces, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Pisces. We're going to take a look at the cards to get a sense of the awareness, guidance, and possible outcomes for the week. I will also sweeten the pot by pulling some oracle cards for more information. So let's get started with your reading. Okay, so we have the Sun, Major Arcana, we have the Four of Cups, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So the Sun is a fabulous card. It uh, brings to us excitement and energy, the energy to create, the energy to follow our passions, to have fun, to simply feel carefree soaking up the rays, letting it filter in. And with the sun, you know, you see the little child here on the horse, like saying, "Wee!" And that's really the feeling of the sun is to uh, enjoy the day, enjoy the time. This is a day of your personal radiance, of your brilliance, of your opportunity to shine. And we shine often when we're having fun, when we're doing things that we really enjoy doing. You know, then we let our real selves be seen. So with the sun, you see the uh, uh, sunflowers, I believe, in the, in the background, abundance. This is about good relationships, uh, everything working well for you, feeling happy, feeling good, relationships are good, possibilities are opening up for you, perhaps possibilities in the relationship arena if you're looking for that. So with the sun is take advantage of the light on Monday. Take advantage of that feeling of how to feel carefree and inspired and creative. So a powerful feeling to have with the Sun and I think that it's going to help when we look at the four of cups we see the man sitting under the tree folded arms looking at the three cups in deep thought not seeing the opportunity being presented to him of, of the cup the, from the little puffy cloud so a couple things there are times within our lives that we need to take a step out of social activities or busyness or chaos. And we need to think about things. We need to take a break, reflect, contemplate. That certainly could be a piece of this. Often when we think of the Four of Cups, we're thinking of feeling stagnant or feeling dissatisfied or discontent that something isn't quite right with our lives and we'd like to address it or at least we're thinking about it it's on our mind and you know when you get stuck in that mindset of what isn't working being very focused on the three cups here sometimes you do miss the opportunities that are presented to you because you're not open to them and i think with his arms crossed like that, there's very much a sense of being shut down. So when I see the Four of Cups, I'm okay that if it's you need time alone to think about things, to consider, and yes, we sometimes feel less than satisfied or we feel discontent with where we are in certain phases of our life. And you have to contemplate and you have to address those things. But the danger is never getting up and just staying in this uh, isolation. Is that ultimately you have to uh, pick up the pieces and make some moves and make some changes, perhaps, to fill whatever it is. So I always see a couple things going on with this Four of Cups that could be happening. Overall, we have happy, happy. We have some solitude here, perhaps some feeling of not quite getting what I need or what I want. 
And then with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, the Wheel of Fortune, uh, I, I'm always interested to think about the Wheel of Fortune because the Wheel of Fortune, it really is the Wheel of Life, always spinning, always in motion. Things are in motion. Perhaps here, once we can step up and walk away from this tree, that we're going to be able to start to move, to make a move. With the Wheel of Fortune, it's about the, the events that occur to us, good and bad, randomly. You know, today was a great day. I was doing this, 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 and then was driving home and somebody rear-ended me or, 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 you know, I smashed into the sidewall, just like that. So you have to be ready for whatever life throws at you. And often it starts with how we think and how we visualize and what we are, you know, the place that we're coming from. So with the Wheel of Fortune, it goes to, you know, the universe is spinning the wheel and hopefully everything, good fortune is coming your way, meaning good events, good things happening. And then sometimes the wheel stops and shifts in a different direction. So it's really a matter of how you approach it, of how you address the changes. Because the Wheel of Fortune can suggest that changes are coming, good or bad. With this wheel, you know, uh, some say, well, it's about fate and karma. And as I would always say, the, the universe throws us the breadcrumbs and then we kind of follow them. But ultimately the will, we have the will. We have uh, the power to make choices and to uh, the choice of how we react and how we move forward. So uh, good changes perhaps here with a wheel of fortune, a movement, things are in motion for you to consider, to contemplate, to think about, to get to the happy place, to find uh, contentment. You have the sun leading the way here. So I do see that things are gonna be good. You know, the sun is a, uh, such a blessing in any reading. So let's take a look at the numbers. We have 19, 19 and four is 23, 23 and 10 is 33. And 33 is a master number. I'm trying to recall exactly what 33 uh, refers to. And I, I think that it's about spiritual being, uh, finding your spiritual center or spiritual growth, like a master teacher. I'm not certain. So I'll have to go look it up again. I, I can't remember. Some people don't even calculate it as a master number. They just say, oh, it's six. And so for those that do, six is about social consciousness and compassion and finding peace. Let's get a little more information from the Oracle and we'll see what we have. Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. So there are a lot of people that live alone and live solitary lives. It doesn't mean that they feel lonely. They could be doing that by choice. Loneliness is that aching in your heart when you, you really need the interaction. So I know that I'm never alone. It's really trust your spirits, trust that there are other people, spirits perhaps, perhaps supporting you, the universe supporting you. But I will say that as I look at the card loneliness, it makes me think of 
our seniors and our super seniors who've outlived their friends and their family, you know, some uh, friends, some family perhaps, or maybe they're not close to their family. And so uh, at these ending part of our lives uh, who find themselves alone, that that's something I think that we really need to address and to think about. Um, so it's like when you have an opportunity to volunteer a day at an, a senior home, then or nursing home as we call them in the U.S., then it's a, it's a way for the connection to continue. So food for thought. I hope you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I thank you for your time and watching. I hope you have an awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow for another reading. Take care. Bye-bye.